Hello everyone. Today's video is going to be on three different styles of beads. The first one is a petal work and a textured patterned round bead. So for this, uh, in fact for all the three beads I'll be using the Jhumka mold. For this particular one I'm using the sixth size in the Jhumka mold. Just dunking in a small ball of clay. Cutting off the excess using a fettling knife. Just adding a little bit of water and making this into a round ball. At this stage, uh, you'll see that I have also added a little bit of oil uh, and now using a toothpick, I just make a hole. Using a pen cap, I just do this kind of a design around the hole that I've uh, created using the toothpick and using a smaller uh, basically part of a pen I'm doing another concentric circle over here now this is a method that I've already shown in my earlier videos I'll probably try and link that video in the uh, description box so please don't forget to check that out I draw uh, petal shaped designs uh, all across this particular bead um, using this straw it's just basically cut off at the top uh, which makes it uh, diagonal and I've just given it a bit of a press that gives you a petal shaped design and using my toothpick I'm just doing dots um, everywhere just so that the petal bead alone rather the petal shape alone actually stands out. I just repeat it to make it a little bit more defined. Just redoing the hole because while designing it there's a good chance that you might compress that so this bead rather bead number one is actually ready so uh, we'll let this dry and uh, we'll move on to bead number two it's a quadrilateral dual ended cone bead it's a long bead for this we're going to be using this particular size in the jhumka mold again the size or the amount of clay uh, you know is totally based on how uh, how big or how small you want the bead to be Again, a little bit of water, make this into a round ball. Make this into a bit of a cylinder. Basically, a short coil is typically what I'm, do what I'm working on right now. I tap both the ends. Now using my uh, thumb, index finger and middle finger, I just create a cone on both the ends. I'm currently working on just a rough uh, structure of the piece. So once something like this is done, using a scale, I gently pat it in order to make the sides more defined. This is just a flat wooden scale. It's not, uh, it's actually a very light scale and I'm gently uh, patting on the bead uh, just so that the sides get more defined. I did spend close to about uh, 10 minutes trying to get this in the shape that I wanted it to uh, be in. So this does take a little time but I really like this method because it helps getting very nice crisp clean uh, sides and uh, that's exactly what I'm looking for in this particular bead. Now once I'm happy with the shape I can begin designing this. I'm using a fettling knife uh, to just draw simple designs. Now because this bead is, is big and it's uh, got that much room uh, you can obviously uh, do any kind of design that you want on this particular one. I'm going to be repeating this kind of a design on each of the corners or each of the edges of this particular bead. And using my uh, nozzle, I just add a few of these um, round shaped designs all through all the four sides. To 
put the hole through the bead, I'm using a toothpick. You might want to be a little bit uh, extra uh, careful when you're putting this because there's a good chance that it might crack a little bit. So uh, just be a little slow. If you see, I have a pair of beads ready over here. It's quite a nice one. I actually like this personally. Uh, so yeah, I think bead, this bead is also ready. Now we move on to the third one, which is a long conical shaped bead with zigzag designs. Once again comes the chumka mold. I'm using the same uh, size that I used for the previous one. Once again, I repeat that the size is totally dependent on how big or small that you, you want the uh, bead to be. So. Um, I make this again into a round ball. I, I do add a little bit of water. Now again, I make this into a long tapered coil. Now when I say tapered, I just mean that one end of it is basically tapering or becoming thinner. I am using predominantly the palm part of my hand in order to make this, uh, make this coil in this manner. So I'm measuring about 5 centimeters. So one thing is I don't have to worry about the ends being very neat for this particular one because I know I'm going to be cutting it off and I want this, I want the total length of this particular bead to be 5 centimeters because I've already made a bead and that's 5 centimeters in length. So using my X-Acto knife, I just measure it and cut off the excess and I end up with a clean, crisp, nice uh, base as well as the top of the bead. I draw the designs on the bead using uh, the fettling knife. For this this kind of a parallel line, I'm always a little bit slower because uh, the, the main thing is that obviously the lines have to meet. Um, it's quite a necessary step because that also will show up uh, post firing and especially during painting. And after designing, when I'm actually doing all this, I do I do the rolling part very gently. The hole is done via a toothpick for this. I mean, if you're looking at a smaller hole, you can also use uh, an eye pin. So I'm just using a small blade uh, over here and uh, uh, doing this kind of a zigzag design. You can also use a fettling knife uh, to draw the designs. And once again, because there is so much of uh, space, you can you know, be very creative with what you put on this particular bead. You can do any other design. I'm just doing this very gently so that I don't rub away the designs uh, because if I apply too much pressure then that design is not going to be very uh, you know crisp and clear like as it is seen now. I just redo the lines um, just to make it a little bit more prominent. Again I redo the whole part as well. And that's it. This bead is a this bead is also ready. So these were three easy simple beads uh, but I do think that the design aspect uh, allows them to be uh, just they work great even if you have a very simple uh, pendant. Uh, so I really hope you enjoy watching this video. Do let me know what you think of it in the comment section and as always I'll get back to each and every one of you. Thank you so much for your time and thank you so much for watching.